Flying as an airline passenger is an awful memorable experience, but there are times when the experience is memorable for all the wrong reasons. Mechanical problems, poor service, lost luggage, or any other number of other problems that result in a significant inconvenience or financial loss for the passenger. On the program, we turn our attention to this common experience that passengers face while connecting places or businesses, and of course, how they can seek redress when they are not satisfied. This is Evasion This Week on Channels Television, and you're most welcome. I'm Bukola Jo Okitsumbi. We start in the country with the Kaduna Air Control Tower fire that saw the airport closed to traffic for 24 hours. Hours after the fire was put out, the Supervising Minister of Aviation, Dr. Samuel Otom, visited the airport and ruled out a sabotage. Nama was able to bring in a mobile uh, tower which is uh, on standby. So I want to assure Nigerians, especially our passengers uh, in and uh, from and uh, in uh, Kaduna State using this terminal that the uh, airport is safe and uh, there is no cause for alarm whatsoever. The Accident Investigation Bureau, AIB and other relevant agencies have commenced investigations to identify the remote and immediate cause of the incident. From Kaduna to Lagos, where the Federal Airports Authority is relocating the public car park at the international terminal of the Murtala Mohammed Airport. The temporary car park is located between the church and the mosque along the airport access road. Here the tolls are not taken at the entrance, but rather a dedicated booth. The car park is about 800 meters from the terminal, a distance many who refuse to speak on camera say is too far. But one passenger who volunteered to speak with us described this as comfort at the cost. Everything can be the way we want it exactly, perfectly all the time. People have to be ready to take a little inconvenience for a better future. For the airport authority, this relocation became necessary to make way for the construction of a new international terminal. As a result of the various projects going on in Lagos, uh, the new international terminal building that I told you, and a uh, host of other projects that are coming up, cargo terminals and what have you, uh, that has affected the current configuration of the airport. So what we are trying to do is to move uh, people around so that at least the contractor, especially the contractor that is doing the new terminal building, will have enough space to work. So, uh, as a result of that, we had to move the, uh, uh, the car park location to a temporary uh, location from the existing location to a temporary location. But uh, uh, we have also in the offing a uh, uh, high-rise uh, uh, car park that is coming under construction. When all these projects are completed, uh, uh, I mean, the airport will be better the public will have a smooth movement of traffic and passengers around the airport. The new car park is expected to take about a thousand vehicles. Also comes with standard restrooms and a dedicated bus road for pickup and drop-offs. Away from the country, we take off with a call from the International Air Transport Association, IATA, for stricter sanctions on airing passengers. The airline global body is asking governments to ratify important changes to the Tokyo Convention of 1963, which agreed at a diplomatic conference in Montreal this April. The Tokyo Convention provides a legal framework for dealing with passengers whose unruly or disruptive behavior leads to physical assault or poses a threat to the safety of a flight. From IATA's call to action on airing passengers, to an exact scenario, where a Virgin Australia passenger plane was involved in a hijack scare after a drunk passenger attempted to break into the cockpit. The incident caused the pilot of the plane, which was traveling from Brisbane to Bali and carrying 139 passengers and six crew, to make a hijack call. 
Virgin Australia subsequently said that the reports of the hijack were incorrect and that the aircraft in question landed safely. The passenger responsible, said to be an Australian national, was arrested and no passengers were harmed. Bali's Depasar International Airport was temporarily closed and flights were diverted to other airports. News flash winds down in Turkey where low-cost airline Pegasus Airlines is now making travel easier and faster with the introduction of a new e-visa system. The new electronic visa application system is now in place for all trade and tourism visitors to Turkey, enabling them to obtain their visas online prior to traveling to the country by simply filling out and submitting the application form at evisa.gov.tr. This move is aimed at cutting the queues at airports and making traveling easier for foreign guests. There are, however, rules and regulations, which include a minimum six-month valid passport, flight reservation and a credit or debit card payment. The application must be made at least one week before departure and the e-visa will be mailed to the applicant within 24 hours after the application is submitted and payment is received. Obtaining visas at airports will no longer be possible after 31st December 2014. Following this date, only valid e-visas will be permitted for entry to Turkey. Malaysia's Premier has pledged to release a report on flight MH370's disappearance, as passengers' families protested outside the country's embassy in Beijing, venting anger at the agonizing information vacuum surrounding the plane. Prime Minister Najib Razak whose government has faced wide questioning over its transparency on MH370, promised that a preliminary report submitted to the UN's aviation body will be released publicly. From agonizing relatives to what has been described as a difficult underwater search of the suspected crash site, using an unmanned mini-submarine equipped with a sonar device now nearing completion with no trace of the plane. Now, there, there may well be, uh, if, if the rest of the search doesn't find anything initially, there may be uh, a further search in the same area with different equipment. But that's, that's something that the three governments need to, uh, need to work out. If the truth, the plane really go down there, then there won't be any survivor. That's the thing, they have to accept that. The only thing is they, they're trying to find out why, when, why, what happened, that's it. The UN's International Civil Aviation Organization requires countries to submit within 30 days a factual account of what is known so far in any air crash. Australian and Malaysian authorities are mulling over what to do next in the ocean search if the Bluefin 21 fails to find wreckage. But they insist the search, estimated to have cost at least $100 million in counting, will go on possibly using other assets, including more powerful sonar devices. The Boeing 777 vanished on March the 8th en route from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing and is now believed to have crashed in the southern Indian Ocean where an Australian-led search is underway. Aviation this week will pause here briefly and we'll be back shortly. Nigeria remains Africa's biggest aviation market with a population of 160 million people. Currently, some of the nation's terminals have been remodeled and orders are still a work in progress. The Muritala Mohamed International Airport is Nigeria's flagship terminal but passengers still have their complaints. Trolley is free, but we pay here. We pay here. Even I need now, unfortunately, I don't have change. So, bless of us, we like this. All over the world, it's free, but we pay here. So, fair. In terms of facilities, like the air condition there is not working, the elevators are not working, a lot of things is wrong, sir. 
Airports and airlines remain partners in business with customers at the top of the pyramid. At the moment, six airlines and quite a number of foreign airlines ply their trade in the nation's skies. Sometimes the services of the airlines are far and in between, with flight delays a major concern. That there has to be a very good communication service. I've been at the airport where I saw people being delayed for several we can be delayed for several hours. I think um, if you if you are going to be delayed, there is no need for you to come to the airport. You have a delayed flight and no, there's nothing like uh, apology to it. The impunity they are using here in short, I don't understand. If you come and once you miss your flight, you miss your flight. They will even charge you more money for you to board another flight. Is it all good? When this ARIC flight with passengers locked in the aircraft prior to takeoff, without a grand power unit to provide air conditioning went viral online, the airline in a press statement apologized to passengers, saying its management acknowledges that the handling of the situation on board was less than satisfactory. While the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority touts the presence of the passenger bills of rights, the agency also believes that many passengers are hesitant to report cases of infringement. When all is said, ensuring that all sides get a fair play is key.